the National Hot Rod Association's New England Nationals are this weekend in Epping, New Hampshire. And joining us now to learn more about the race is reigning NHRA New England winner, Justin Ashley. It's good to see you. You're back a year later. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys for having me on. I appreciate it. All right. So you're gearing up for the big weekend. What can we expect? You can expect a lot of horsepower, a lot of excitement, and pretty much everything in between. So these cars go zero to over 330 miles per hour in under four seconds, 11,000 plus horsepower. And the beautiful part about NHRA drag racing is that every ticket really is a pit pass. So it's a friendly family style event where everybody can walk throughout the pit area, meet the teams, meet the drivers, and it's racing Friday through Sunday, and it's an absolute blast. Oh, wow. So you're also the points leader this season. What does that mean as far as the racing season goes? So, yeah, it's been going pretty well for us. So the entire season's about 20 races. We're six races in, which means it's still relatively early on, but we're fortunate to have two wins throughout the first six races of the year. And, um, you know, I just have the utmost confidence in our team. Everybody's been doing a really good job. Right now, the field is really tough which means a lot of really close racing, exciting racing, mm. which is really good for the fans. But fortunately for us, we've done pretty much better than just about everybody else in our category so far. So like I said, a long year, but a lot of success early on. Okay, so tell us what you'll be driving. And I wanna know also how you prepare for a weekend like this. Yeah, so I'll be driving something that's called the Top Fuel Dragster. There are about 16 other cars within that category. They're 300 inches long, so about 25 feet long, zero to over 330 miles per hour in under four seconds. These cars are explosive. They're violent. They can do pretty much anything at any time, so they're quite a bit unpredictable. And in terms of preparation, it's all about making sure that you're physically ready, um, obviously making sure that you're mentally ready and doing all the preparation that you can. The guys themselves are working on the car during our off week, finding ways to improve and get better in our shop in Indianapolis, and then from a driving standpoint, just physically, mentally making sure that I'm in shape, ready to go, because these races are decided by such small margins now that every little bit is significant. Wow. Uh, so we're looking at some great weather. What can people expect for the big race weekend? Yeah, every time we go to New England, so I'm from the Northeast myself, I'm from New York, so it's definitely one of my favorite places to race. Um, but I think you can expect, certainly, if not close to it, probably a sellout crowd. A lot of other fans that are really knowledgeable and eager to see NHRA drag racing, especially because last year we went to the event. We won the event, but it didn't actually get finished in New England because of the weather and because of the rain. So this time it's clear skies. It's supposed to be relatively cool, which is good for us, which means a lot of really fast racing. So I think you can expect a sellout crowd, a lot of really fast mile per hour, and a lot of really fast times. <laughs> All right, Justin, thank you so much. Go get them. I don't know what you're supposed to say. In our business, they say break a leg. What do they say in racing? Win. Break, win. Break a leg, win. Go get them. Anything works. Vroom, vroom. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you.